Hi guys, how have you been? <laughs> missed me or missed me not? <laughs> missed me. But I missed you. I missed you so much. I have not picked my camera in a long, long time. I have been up and down. I'm currently in Nairobi. And before that, I was in Kakamega for friends and family. Before that, I was home in Akuru. Man, I've not felt stabilized enough to to speak on camera. But then I'm here. It was a random it was a random evening. I brought Mr. Man's to a meeting and I'd have easily gone somewhere to work, but I still have time. I still have time to settle down later and work. So I walked around the premise of where where I had I'd brought him for the meeting and there's a zucchini found interesting things that I didn't know and I thought it was it would be thoughtful to share them with you. Um what else? Um it's quite interesting man. You think you know everything and then you somehow get proven wrong. I'm looking at people walking around man. That's how easily I get distracted. <laughs> Yeah, but how are you? How have you been? How have you been this past few weeks, weeks, days? I don't know. When was the last time I was on here? Man, it's it's nice to be back. It's nice. To, sorry, guys. I'm distracted. There's just so much going on around me. <laughs> but yeah, how are you guys? I love the weather. I love the weather in Nairobi right now. The other time we'd been coming around, it had been cold. What is this? position i'm sitting guys i'm trying to stabilize my camera and hold it steady shooting in the car is such a is such a hassle like nobody tells told me that the light keeps changing like you keep seeing the yellow the yellow is this light up above me but then the white is from outside see it became white yellow white yellow <laughs> I don't know how that is happening. Yeah, but how are you guys? Tell me. How are you? Comment down below. How have you been? How are you holding up? I was I was amused. I was surprised that in Nairobi right now people are not wearing masks. I guess COVID is gone. Is COVID still in the area where you come from? Are there people suffering from COVID-19? What's happening? Oh yeah, and yesterday, yesterday, um, the court in Kenya made a ruling, and we now, in a previous video, I said we had like um, like um, a president that wasn't sworn in yet, and that there was a court case that was supposed to go on because another candidate was contesting the results, and now that's done. We have we have a new president now. That's supposed to be sworn in in a few days and it is quite exciting to just see the kenyans reactions like you know of course you fear from the past like the in the past not in the recent past but many years ago not many 207 yeah that's quite a lot of years ago 207 207 207 is a lot yeah 207 what now that i think about it 207, I hadn't yet joined college. Yeah, so 207 is quite a while ago. And I'm done with college. So yeah, 207, it seems like the other day, but 207 is quite a while ago. So yeah, so now we have a new president, which is quite exciting. They're supposed to be sworn in. And the peace of Kenyans, man, this is such good news. I feel so happy when, when there's just peace. Like it's it's okay to fear for the bad, but when you are afraid and then this peace, then man, you feel so nice. You feel really, really nice. There's a lady passing and she keeps looking at me. Hi. <laughs> yeah. So, so I'm I'm very happy. I'm very happy and I'm optimistic about about our country. I believe nice things will happen, man. I believe nice things will happen for us. I believe the economy will get better. I mean, we're a hard-working nation, so we should be fine. We should be fine. And Kenya is so beautiful. So when there's peace, 
that also adds to the beauty of this country right yeah so let me show you a few things of um i mean a few things i saw in the place that i was in it, it is nice to be back i have a lot of videos from my escapades this last few days i can't wait to edit those and share those with you i also have a story time of something and i'll remember to share that with you something that happened man i ordered something and then this thing has been taking forever to get here i can't wait for the thing to get here and for me to share that with you um i'm also i'm also really quite excited about going back home really i miss home i miss home so much and yeah i miss home and i can't wait to go back home and but the the good side is when we're in nairobi we get to hang out with family i get to see my sister hi sash <laughs> Yeah, so I get to hang out with my sister. Like yesterday, we hung out with my sister. She was running her errands. Like she was running some errands for herself. And I mean, I came with her. It was a nice, nice hangout session with her. We just like generally, I like being in Nairobi because of family. It was so nice. We chilled. She did her errands. I came along with like I came. I, I went with her. It was a nice a nice bonding session and then we went for a mini shopping which was really cool i mean seeing my sister pick out some pieces of cloth that normally i wouldn't but then like pick them out for me and they really looked nice that was like so nice and one of the pieces was this one i mean look at this sweater weather it's not so cold in Nairobi, but I love rocking this. It's stylish. It's very orange. The lighting right now does not do it justice. I can't wait to take pictures with it under the sun. It looks so nice. It is so nice. And it's not it's not like a tight sweater. It's like baggy-ish sweater with a high with a high on the front and like a low on the back. So it's like ish ish. I don't know if you get the point. But anyway, it looks so nice. So I'm not rocking it with anything on the inside other than a vest thingy. It's a vest thingy. Yeah, a vest thingy and just the sweater. And I feel so cute. I feel really cute. Man. People just keep walking past. Like, I think I have FOMO. Like, fear of missing out. Like, I'm here, but I don't want to miss out on what is happening in my environment. Which is, I don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> anyway, let me go on and um, add snippets of videos of the things I found interesting in Zucchini. Um, these are other places you can you can like shop for a few things and like that like vegetables and the reason i'm sharing is this is sometimes the notion is that those things are expensive but well you don't have to shop there on the daily but um you can pick up a few things whenever you need them because really i was impressed by the availability of certain things and like say for example if i were giving an example of the oats i found in zucchini 500 grams of well packaged oats and they look more to me and it's a certain type that is not the big or the small like there's like there's like very small oats and then there's like very big oats which is what kafo stocks and then there's like the medium i've not seen the medium in kafo if it is there my bad but I've always just bought the bigger size because I hate those small ones for baking. Like when you bake the the oats to make granola, then the tiny ones are not as nice. So here I found 500 grams goes for 200 shillings, which is so nice because a kg at Kafo is 3.99, which means the price is almost the same. So yeah like there there's a lot of stores we are sleeping on like in nairobi and in kenya generally and i feel like they offer like really nice things and this is not even like i'm just telling you as piece of information nobody's paying me for this 
I'm just paying, I mean, I'm just sharing, you know, little tips of how I survive <laughs> in the world. So enjoy it and take care. So surprise video turned out into a surprise dinner. We're having pizza at this. What is this place called? Is it zucchini? Yeah, just look at it. Yeah. It's outside zucchini. And he's taking pictures of me. And I am camera shy. Anyway, so we've got to have pizza and I can't wait. The beauty of Tuesdays in Nairobi, man, right? The beauty of Tuesdays in Nairobi. There's always a buy one get one free. And is it a large pizza? Is it a large pizza here on my video? Don't be on my video on your phone. Oh, uh, so he said he's he'll bring it on a phone.
um so before i close off this vlog i'd like to mention something very interesting that happened you see that i have like um fresh cornrows this took me less than three hours to do okay three hours is a long time let me say two two um or two and a half because of the wash and the undoing and i did this at ngara fig tree ngara there's a small gate and the reason why this is interesting is because i did not know that there's like a small quote-unquote kenyatta market if you know kenyatta market you know what i'm talking about like inside fig tree there's like a gray gate there's like a gray gate and when, when you walk in there there's like um, many shops many many shops because i think i went to shop number 30 but there's like many of them they're doing all styles they're doing cornrows they're doing they're doing like um box braids four locks any style that you see as long as you go to explain to them i think they'd be honest enough to tell you when they can't do a certain style the reason i would recommend them one is for anyone working in town in westlands niangara because you don't have to go throughout the week looking rough waiting for the weekend to braid your hair they took two hours guys two hours two hours and then also their price is favorable i wouldn't say it's the cheapest because i i had an option of going to another salon in sarit center which i'm very interested in trying for my next style and they currently have um an offer an offer for their cornrows i was referred to by ashley ashley and it's called i think leo's leo salon yeah so um i had that option but i went to this one because it was highly recommended by my friend and i also learned about leo's much later other than that i would recommend them because like can you imagine these guys undid my hair washed my hair and then braided my hair and i was out of there within three hours like that's that's very good now two the the only reason i wouldn't recommend them is they don't have like clean washrooms like the area doesn't have clean washrooms but other than that i mean you can go to the washroom wherever and then because they're not taking time they'll come and and do your hair and also if you're freaked out about people just please bring your mask because people will be on your face like they're here here like there's no space and even when there's no space there's like a lot of people within the area so if being around a lot of people does not creep you out you can go there and yeah you'll enjoy your services and then the other thing that i realized is people there were bargaining like i felt bad for paying okay did i feel bad yeah i mean <laughs> i had an option of bargaining but i didn't bargain so you can imagine how i felt after that right i mean save a few coins why not but I also feel good that I paid the amount that I was supposed to because the service that I was given is good. I'm doing cornrows these days because they're they are like a protective hairstyle for my hair as it grows. I can't wait to rock my hair in other styles, which I am definitely looking forward to. Um, other than that, um, I'm enjoying these cornrows, man. I am enjoying them. One, they're neat. They're very neat. All I do is make sure I frequently oil and I don't hold them tight so that they don't go away with my hairline. And at, the, at this age, man, at this age, your hairline is not one of the things that heal so quickly. Yeah, so I'm trying to make sure that doesn't disappear. So I hope you try them out when you're in a hurry. They were referred to me. The Ngara place was referred to me by a friend of mine, which was so helpful on that day because I really, really needed my hair done, like immediately and short notice but i still got like excellent services and stuff like that so would recommend okay so see you guys i'm closing off here i hope to see you on another video when i get time to edit edit the videos that i have i can't wait to bring you exciting things take care of yourselves maintain a positive attitude take care honestly take care Keep up the peace that is around Kenya. Keep it within you as well, with your family members, with the people that you live with. Take care of yourselves. How many times have I said that? 
take care of yourselves guys take care and mwah, thank you for the support thank you for following me if you've not um subscribed please subscribe to this uh channel if you've liked this type of content give me a thumbs up if there's any other thing you'd like for me to review or show please comment down below keep those ideas coming and i will appreciate them take care mwah. see you peace